But what's up guys, for today's video we're doing a wheel rebuilding challenge. Pretty much, I put all the states that have a solid amount of NBA players born in them on a wheel and we spin the wheel to create a team. So the only real rules today are that we can't have more than two players under a 70 overall and once I get done with the wheel, I can move around the players however to try and build a championship contending team in the first year. So pretty much we have two wheels. The first one's going to have all the states on it and the second one will have numbers 1 through 25 on it to find out who exactly we will get from the state. So please before we hop into the video, drop a like and a sub. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video and I should make more like it. But uh, here we go. Let's get into it. All right, so here we go. We are about to spin the wheel and see what state we get to start off. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we get like Ohio or something so we can get LeBron. But let's see what we get. First spin, we get Georgia. All right, so let's see what the number we get with Georgia is. We get number... Come on. I feel like the higher numbers usually have the better players, but I don't know. So number nine. Let's see who is there for Georgia number nine. Georgia number nine, as you can see, I, the highlighted players, the players that are still in the league currently. This is the only one I'm going to show you just so you can see about how I actually went about uh, getting the players. So this is the only one I'm going to show it to you. But as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six would be Wendell Carter Jr. So our first player we're bringing onto the squad is Wendell Carter Jr. Very solid player. I'm very happy to have him on the team. A young center, really good. So he's definitely going to help out a lot. Second spin, here we go. The second spin, let's get a good state. Come on. Second spin, we get Illinois. I don't know anyone from Illinois. And we get, let's see what number. Hopefully a high number, I guess. Because, I, like I said, I think those are the better players, but I have no idea. We get 24, Illinois 24. Who does that give us? Let's see. We get uh, Jabari Parker. Not bad. I'm not going to cry about it. Not great. Solid. Definitely better than getting like a 60 overall. Don't get me wrong. Third, let's go. Who do are we getting here? We got free pick overseat. Oh, wait, what? Wisconsin. Oh, we just missed it. Oh, my. I was hoping we were going to get the free pick player, but we get Wisconsin. But we get a high number. We get number six. So who did we get? Wisconsin number six. We got ourselves. Devin Harris. Can't really complain with that. Just a bench point guard. I guess bring in as much depth as we can. Hopefully we get the overseas free pick because that will be great. I'm not going to go too much with it and go with like a 90-something overall like Jokic or something. But definitely get myself like a solid like 80-something player. I didn't even see who we got with the state, but uh, number six, let's see, who do we get? We get Kyle Singler. The rule is I can only have two at most of those under 70 overall players, so I guess at least we got one out of the way already, and he's not too bad. Maryland, Maryland, I'm pretty sure is actually a pretty talented state for basketball players to come from, so that's not bad. So let's see who we get. Like, the only ones I know, like, are, like, Maryland, you know, New Jersey, Ohio obviously has LeBron. I don't know a lot, but let's see. We get ourselves Markel Fultz. That's not bad at all, bringing him back to the Sixers. But um, I can't complain too much about it. We have two, like, eh, point guards right now with him and Devin Harris. Next spin, let's see what we get. Alabama? Alabama, yeah. Okay, so... Alabama. I don't know who would be from Alabama, but Alabama number 16. So let's see what we get ourselves. Alabama number 16 gets us Damari Carroll. Not a bad one. Definitely solid. 3 and D wing that can play. Not too bad. Let's see. We're building up a lot of depth. Hopefully we get ourselves a superstar, but who knows? Missouri. I don't know who would be from Missouri either. All these, like, middle pack states, I'm not sure. And we get a really late number. We get 23. Who's going to be added to the squad? Let's see. Bradley Beal. There we go. We got a star for the team. 
Bradley Beal. We definitely have a little bit more to go with these picks, but not so bad so far. We have Bradley Beal, Damari Carroll. We have Wendell Carter, so it's not awful. Let's see. Next up, we get our overseas free pick. So, like I said, I'm not going to take a guy like Jokic. I'm not going to take Ben Simmons, someone that's like too overpowered in my opinion. But the guy I'm bringing in, I think is going to fit this squad right now since we don't have a four. I'm bringing in Laurie Marketing, who I believe is an 83 or 84 overall. Yeah, 83. So he's going to fit onto the squad real nice. Next up, let's see what we get. Hopefully we get Ohio soon for a chance at LeBron. That would be pretty awesome. So we get Maryland again. Like I said, Maryland's pretty talented when it comes to basketball, I'm pretty sure. So let's see who we end up getting. Hopefully someone good. Number 2020. So we get ourselves. Victor Oladipo. Let's go, baby. Victor Oladipo, Bradley Beal. They play the same position. So I'm going to have to figure that out after the video. After uh, the spinning of the wheel and try and move, move someone around. Probably Bradley Beal. But I'm very happy with getting Oladipo. We got, we got Ohio. What number are we getting? I'm sure LeBron's going to be one of the higher ones. Ohio number 8. Let's see. Who do we get with Ohio number 8? Please be LeBron. Please be LeBron. Please be LeBron. Please be LeBron James. We get LeBron James. Let's go. So our team is an absolute bomb squad already. We're going to have LeBron, Laurie Markkinen, Bradley Beal, Victor Oladipo, and Wendell Carter Jr. so far. That's pretty crazy. Next up, we have California. There's a lot of people from California, but I don't really have any idea on who we might get here. So, California number, ooh, I thought we were going to get one. I just think that, I think the higher numbers are better, but I have no idea. And... Hey! Jonathan... Gibson, definitely not what we wanted, guys, but nothing you can do about it. Got another one of those bum picks out of the way, so. Um, here we go, New Jersey. I know New Jersey is a good basketball state, so hopefully we get someone good. I'm trying to think. One of the rookies in the 2018 draft class was from there. I don't know exactly who. I know New York Mobamba's from, but I think maybe like Jaron Jackson or something. So we got New Jersey number 11. Let's see what happens with that. We get Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh my gosh. Our team is absolutely stacked so far. Like if we don't win a championship with this team, then I have no idea what's going on. Because like this team is absolutely insane so far. Illinois number 11. Oh no, Illinois. And then we have to spin the wheel. My bad, my bad. Mistakes, rookie mistakes. And number five, so I would assume a good player. Illinois number five gives us Sterling Brown. I guess the numbers have no correlation. Never mind. As we pull Sterling Brown, not the worst thing ever, I guess, but definitely not what I was hoping for. But I can't really complain too much with the team we got. Don't worry, I'm not lying. <laughs> um, so let's see. Number 14, who do we get? We bring in JaVale McGee. Can't go wrong with little JaVale McGee, not going to lie. But uh, let's see, we got Louisville. And if you're this far into the video, please be sure to like, comment, and sub so that I can grow this community. And um, tell me if there's anything you liked about this video and anything you think I should change because I'm definitely willing to hear you. And we got Louisville, number seven. That brings us Aaron Holiday. That's a really good one. So here we are after I'm about to make my trades to make the team how I want. So as you can see, there's this Markel Fultz and Jabari Parker for Clint Capella and Eric Gordon trade. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the trade. I, I had to bring in a better center. And then here, this one also had me really tossed up between if I wanted to bring in D'Angelo Russell at point guard or Ben Simmons. And I knew Ben Simmons wouldn't bring us the three-point shooting aspect, and we kind of needed that, but I just think Ben Simmons is better overall. So goodbye, Bradley Beal. This is our team. Ben Simmons, Victor Oladipo, LeBron James, 
Laurie Marketing, and Clint Capella, and off the bench you have Jaron Jackson Jr., Wendell Carter, Eric Gordon, Dwight Powell, and Damari Carroll. I wish I could get Aaron Holiday some tick, but I cannot. But our team is absolutely bananas. Look at that squad that we have right here. We got the luckiest draw, like honestly, of all time. Make sure the scoring options are on LeBron and Oladipo first, and then after that, it doesn't really matter for me because the rest of the team is about the same. Let's see what our best system we can put them in is. So, seven seconds. So, we're about to uh, sim through. I'll show you the roster, I guess, real quick. Everybody's overall by position. And then we're going to uh, sim through the season and see if we can uh, win the chip because with this team, I'd be pretty surprised if we do not. This should be able to beat the Warriors, and I think easily. So here we go. We're going to hop into the sim of the season real quick. And at the end of the season, MVP goes to Steph, so none of us got it. Dion, yeah, Aiton got Rookie of the Year. But we did get Coach of the Year, so Brett Brown, Coach of the Year. Definitely a good sign that this team out absolutely went off. 65 wins. All-NBA first team. LeBron did make it, so that's great. See, sign LeBron should have came to Philly. And All-NBA third team, Ben Simmons, which is kind of interesting because with LeBron, it seems like he's prospering even more. And some people thought that wouldn't have been the case. So, standings-wise, we're the best in the league. 65 and 17, better than just about everyone. You know, the Warriors had 60 wins, and they were the runner-up to us in overall standings. So, let's look at the stats real quick and see how everybody did. LeBron, just about 23 points a game. 6.4 assists a game, oh, rebounds a game, and 9.2 assists per game. So, definitely a solid season by LeBron, but only shooting about 36% from three. So, not too bad, I guess. Oladipo averaging about 25 and 5 a game. Oh, no, 5 and 8 a game. My bad. I don't know why I keep messing this up. Uh, Simmons, 17.3 points per game. And it looks like Ben Simmons actually hit a three because it has him at 40% from the three. Which is definitely interesting because, as we know in real life, Ben was never hitting a three. And then Clint Capella. Laurie Markkinen really didn't have to do all that much considering, you know, he's maybe the team's fourth, fifth scoring option. But our team is absolutely amazing. Looking at the team stats, we're, we should be at the, around the top, of the, uh, the top of the pack for everything. Points allowed, we're pretty low. We're the fourth. Let's see. Um... Point differential. We're pretty. We're not bad on points differential. We're second, right behind the Warriors. So we're beating people by on average 10.9. Highest on uh, field goals made a game. Highest on three pointers made. But our three point percentage is not looking so hot whatsoever. That's because all we have that can shoot on that starting lineup right there is really Laurie, who can shoot a little. Oladipo who can shoot and then you got uh, LeBron obviously no deadly shooter but and going on to check out the rotations everything looks pretty good Simmons is hot Oladipo is hot LeBron's hot Capella's hot and Damari Carroll's hot so I mean I would like to give Eric Gordon a little bit more tick since we need the shooting so give him a little bit more tick take some from Dwight Powell but our team is obviously extremely good so, we should win the chip this year. I'd be pretty surprised if we don't. We're up against a Magic team that's really not so good. They had 25 wins the year previous. DJ Augustine, Terrence Ross, they got Tobias Harris, and they have Aaron, uh, Aaron Gordon. But, in reality, their guard play cannot match what we have, even in the slightest. We're up 3-0 on them, and they steal a game. That should be it. 4-1, to one. yep. So, we, we pretty much body them. They get one game on us. I don't know how even, but Simmons dropped 25, and Tobias Harris pretty much matched up with him with 23, but everybody was pretty evenly distributed, getting in the high teens, low 20s for us. Second round matchup, John Wall, Zaire Smith, Jimmy Buckets, Jeff Green, Dwight Howard with Bobby Portis off the bench. A little bit tougher of a matchup. They might be able to take us to six, but I'm not sure. So, 1-1. Come on, boys. We got to pull this out. With a team like this, we can't disappoint. 2-1. 3-1. Here we go. Let's just take it home now. Come on. 4-1. We take it home right there. And then, you know, John Wall tried to put up his best effort, but we weren't having it. Raptors. Let's see what this Raptors squad's looking like. 
Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, Spicy P, Kawhi, Marc Gasol, Serge Ibaka, Tony Parker. Nothing too insane, pretty similar to real life. But um, let's see. They might be able to take us to six also. So we're up 2-1, 2-2, 3-2. Come on, let's end it here. 3-3, three, three. they take it to seven. And we beat the Raptors in seven. Definitely spooky. Ben put up 29 points to get us the win. LeBron adding with 21. And they really didn't have the best shooting night, so they didn't they couldn't get the dub. But up against the Warriors team, pretty much the exact same Warriors team as always. And I think we're gonna take them. We go up 1-0. 2-0. Come on, boys. 3-0. And sweep them. Oh, we didn't get to sweep them, but we win 4-1. LeBron James. Finals MVP. Um, I thought this was a cool video idea, so if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know down in the comments. Like, comment, and sub, and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.